my name is Stacy Dyke and I'm the Kidside Director here at Westside Community Church. I'm so glad you're here today to join us for our family experience where you can gather with your family and engage with God's Word. We hope you enjoy. Dear God, this month my small group is talking about gratitude. And when I got home, I realized that mom is an expert at this. She thanks the neighbors. She thanks the delivery man. She thanks the carpool friends. She even thanks me. But I was wondering who thanks her. So I got an idea. God, this gratitude thing is pretty huge. Oh, and thank you, Sienna. So, this month we are talking about gratitude, which is letting others know you see how much they've helped you. And gratitude is something we have to work at. It's not something that just happens, and it's not something that we'll ever finish working on. In fact, I have to work every day at being grateful and being remind myself of how to thank others and most of all, how to thank God uh, for the things that he's given me in my life. I mean, right now, when everything is uncertain or difficult and just kind of weird, I mean weird, like we have to wear these masks into the grocery store or at school, and so much of our conversation um, comes through our eyes, and we have to communicate, especially when we're saying thank you for something or we're asking for something, and it's just nice that people hopefully have a little extra grace right now as we're communicating. <laughs> Masks are certainly kind of weird right now, and I know that that is uh, a struggle. And it's hard to think, why should we be thankful, right? But it is so important to remember, and we can remember to tell God um, something that we're thankful for, even when something isn't going our way. And just like Sienna wrote down and journaled in her uh, journal on our video today, um, I want you to take a piece of paper and a pencil and take some time today to write down 10 things that you're thankful for. Just 10 things that you're thankful for. And maybe share those with your mom and dad or you can talk to God about them. And this week when something doesn't go your way or something comes hard comes up, try to remember to tell God those things that you're thankful for. And that's a great place to start when you're dealing with whatever comes your way. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His love endures forever, is in Psalm 107.1. There are several scriptures in the Bible that talk about giving thanks to God for what He has done for us. What are some reasons to be grateful in your life? What are some reasons to be thankful when things stink? <laughs> and I'm not talking about stink in a bad way. I'm talking about when, uh, when something doesn't go right. Maybe you don't do well on a math test, or maybe you can't tie your shoes, or uh, maybe your friend hurt your feelings. How can we be grateful in those times that we can talk to God and we can come up with good things um, to share back with Him? Dear God, gratitude doesn't come easy to us, especially when we're having a bad day or things don't go our way. And we need your help to remember that your plans are always good. Instead of complaining about what's bad, help us choose to be grateful for what's good. And all God's children said, Amen. Hey, what are you guys doing here? Wait, are you here for a science time? 
Well, I got just a treat for you. Let's head over to the lab. Let's get this thing going. All right, we're here in the lab, and this week, your boy Boo, <laughs> I mean Drew, I have a special spooky, scary surprise just for you. Science-wise, I searched probably the scariest parts of the internet, and I found a little thing called oobleck. Oobleck is simply cornstarch and water mixed together to make a Newtoninian fluid. Actually, oobleck is a non-Newtonian fluid, and it's a fluid basically it doesn't follow Newton's laws of viscosity. If you put pressure on it, it'll get harder. Where they're normal fluids, their viscosity stays independent of stress. Anyways, back to the science, a non-Newtonian fluid. Okay, so I'm gonna take some cornstarch, about two cups worth of this stuff, okay? So, cornstarch, I think is the stuff they put in like corn flakes, not really the best for you. Um, so I don't recommend eating oobleck. Um, might put some added weight on that you're not really looking for. By the way, we are not sponsored by our family, but hey. So that's one cup, and let's go cup number two. In there like so. And then hey, I need some water, trick or treat. And we're gonna put in the water in here. Now, we're gonna take our handy dandy trusty non-rusty spoon and we're gonna slowly mix. If you can see, the, uh, as my friend Tyler, the real science guy said, the viscosity ch changes. Still not sure what viscosity means, but I'm gonna keep mixing her up. Oh yeah, that is getting oobleky if I've ever seen some. All right, so once we got a cool, crisp mix, you want to check it out. Kind of looks like milk or uh, glue. I don't recommend eating either, but if you had to choose, I guess drink milk, not glue. All right. Let's play with this stuff. Um. Uh, it's feeling quite uh, liquidy, probably pretty. Oh, I think the viscosity changed in my hand. Does that look? It's all. Yeah. Actually, Andrew, it's, a, it's not viscous enough to get a little bit more, a little bit more corn starch. Okay. I added like the whole bag, bro. Roll it into a ball now. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I made it! <laughs> oh, it worked. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Sometimes science is just scary enough to work. As always, this is your boy, Boo. <laughs> Again, I mean Drew, signing off. Make sure you get out there, smash that like button, stay spooky, and as always, do something sciencey. We'll see you in the next one. That was so much fun. Thank you, Boo. I mean Drew. We have to remember to be thankful in all circumstances. Hey, mom and dad, we want to make sure you feel connected to us here at Westside, so be sure to access our website for more information. You can even call our office and we'll be here to talk with you. Remember, we are meeting here in person and we can't wait to see you. Today's question is, what are you grateful for? Take some time together as a family and ponder that together. We hope you have a great Sunday.